How do you decide between a less expensive GE Logic E or the new and improved next gen Logic E? Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Brian Gill from Providian Medical, and today we're talking about GE's new next gen Logic E ultrasound and its predecessor, the GE Logic E. To start, let's talk about the big difference between these two systems, the price. At the time of this video, the next gen Logic E is quite a bit more expensive than the original version of Logic E. So as you listen to all the nice things I have to say about the next gen, you'll need to take into account that the price is going to be quite a bit higher than the Logic E. Now, for clarity's sake in beginning this video, I'm going to now refer to these as the Logic E, which is the old system, and the next gen, which is the newer version. So let's talk about the similarities and differences between these two systems. The next gen and the Logic E pretty much have the same user interface, from the setup menus to just the keyboard in general, and the overall user experience, they're pretty much the same. They're also both very good shared service systems, and the Logic E has always been one of the best systems on the market when it comes to price and performance. But that's where the similarities end. The Logic E remains a very popular system, and it is really good for nearly all modalities. Nearly. That's where the next gen comes in. The first two major changes I noticed on this were the speed and the image quality. It is much faster than the Logic E and the image quality is a solid upgrade. In the past on the Logic E there were hyperechoic regions that pretty much always had a cloudiness to them. It wasn't a big problem but there was always artifact in the image and it kind of muddied the whole thing up. On the next gen those areas are cleaned up and also wall definition is better and just the overall image quality has a higher resolution and it's just cleaner. Now for speed on the next gen, it boots from a cold start in about a minute and it's less than 30 seconds from sleep mode. The speed upgrade, it's also very noticeable in cardiac imaging. The original Logic E had just good enough cardiac capabilities and specifically talking about color Doppler. The next gen takes major strides in efficiency and diagnostics for cardiac imaging and the color Doppler is much much better. So if cardiac is important to you, you should strongly consider the next gen. Now for those seeking a point of care system and have it in your budget, the speed and image quality improvements make the next gen a much better choice over the Logic E. Now in fact, GE is marketing this pretty much as a point of care unit and they have lots of new presets, the improved speed and improved image quality make it much more relevant in that market than the Logic E was. Now for other imaging modalities, they're both good systems. While the next gen is really better in every way, it's not like the Logic E is not capable. It is. Vascular OBGYN and mobile applications, they'll all be happy with the image quality, the versatility, and the overall performance of the Logic E. Especially because the price of the Logic E is really good and you can get a lot of mileage out of it. Now remember, the Logic E is probably the best selling ultrasound system of all time. So it's not like it's unusable and nobody's ever used the thing before. So for many users, the Logic E is more than satisfactory because for purchase or rent, the price is really, really good and the image quality gets you what you need. Now, for those looking for something with a little more oomph or need good cardiac, the next gen is an excellent choice for those who can afford it. I'm Brian Gill with Providian Medical, and that's what you need to know about the GE Logic E and GE's next-gen Logic E ultrasound machines. Thank you for watching.